into the side net. That was a lovely pass from Grimbaud to pick up Hussaini on his left foot. It was always drifting wide, but he manages to get something on it. Mubarak Yusuf from Sharif Mohamed, the Tamale boy who returned to Tamale after joining from Tepas. Guedu's ball to Etuga, but his air force on it gets the ball out for a goal kick. Patrick Aspa to the Brazilian. He was looking for options, but Yao Osei comes out and makes a spam save on that one. Hussaini setting up Kwam Wache, Kwam is cross, and Edu stop making any contact on that one. She went in, but she jumped rather too early. Hadiz crossed a bit harmless, but where was Dunlap going? You want to give credit to the striker, Adu. He kept his composure, not even their appearance of the goalkeeper from his area could scare him. He coolly knocked the ball into that empty net for the second goal for Real Tony Nights and much to the amazement of goalkeeper Yao Se and these fans who turned up in their numbers here this afternoon at the Alumahama Stadium in Tamale. So look at the ball from Kuka to Hadiri. The cross went in as a harmless one, but Dunlap, his judgment and calculation, a bit suspect on that occasion. And I see you would not bother, they would not mind that were two goal lead against the big leaders. You know, that's Dunlap, because there was someone up here who was on the same path so there was a Pierre and Adu. So if the man has stayed, maybe that header from Adu wouldn't have been the back of the net. That's the penalty committed by Loki Payao said. It took that clearly rounded him up, had no option than to break down the Cameroonian. Once it took a step up, it's the seventeenth goal of the Ghana Premier League season. No mistakes about the penalty. It's two one for RTU. At this point, it was five minutes to full time. Sometimes I can't believe it. At the final kick from Abagra. And then everything, and referee Akuma blew his whistle for the end of the game here at the Aliumama Stadium. Four shots on target for the home side, two corners. Full time score here at the Aliumama Stadium in Tamale. I'll see you too. I'll see you too. Good. Obviously, the result you were looking for, but. Um, not one of your best games today. What do you think, Coach, went against your team today? I think they lost their focus on the fourth. Um, most of the things that we were doing, especially with the ball, were not the things that they were supposed to do. They were too individualistic on the fourth. They, most of the players didn't play as a unit, as, as a team. And I think that actually affected us. Coach, it's your third defeat of the season, and Reports come in theory that the uh, Peter United have won their game. That means that they are within five points of the top. Is it now pressure time for the last nine games? No, it's, it's not pressure time. We've come with lost. We have to accept the, the defeat. Make sure that we stay focused. We stay confident. We don't have to lose our composure. We don't have to leave, lose our self-belief. We have to go back and make sure that we get things done right. That is it. But it's one of the disappointments, the fact that the two goals you conceded were down big like some mistakes. One penalty given away. The second goal, arguably, the goalkeeper could have stayed on the line and charged a lot better. Is that some of the disappointments from the game? Exactly. If you look at the penalty we conceded, it was not necessary. I mean, the, the tackle from Asma was not necessary. And if you look, look at the way Danlad also came out, it was not necessary because Apia was with him. So once you had a defender with an attacker, your force to keep your line of movement in line with the ball so that if he misses, you can react. And if he gets the ball and he takes a shot at you, you'll be able to save it. But I think he was trying to think faster ahead of the two players. And rather, in terms of his movement, he was late. And the, 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 the RTU player was first to the ball. Um, finally, I mean, what positive, what, what positive can you say you want to be put up people from this game? We created some good chances, especially in the early, uh, early part of the game, which we could have scored, but we couldn't. And I think it's okay. It's okay. We've lost, and we have to accept it. I mean, no blame game. 
we just have to make sure that we go back as a unit like we came here and make sure that we get things done right and move on. That's all. All right, coach. All the best in other games. Thank you. Coach, what a big victory here for you against Kotoko, the league leaders. But before we talk about the game, what do you have to say to these fans here? I applaud them. For the first time ever, they've done well. For the first time ever, I applaud them. Yeah, and applause is right back yes, to you. Yes, the the, the yes, atmosphere yes. was outstanding. Now, back to the game now, Coach. It was a wonderful performance by your team. Can you talk us through what works for your side? Yeah, um, Kotoko, Kotoko are a good side by all standards, and we are a better side. We had, we we clip their wings where they are supposed to play. We clip it. They couldn't get any way to play there. That is the secret. And we saw that in the game when Abagna came on, even though it's not as sharp as we've seen the quality that he brings. Coach, uh, for you, how important would he be to stay to keep him fit for the last nine games? Yeah. Uh, in fact, he has he has come back, and the coming back, I sh I should think, is something that is going to be sustained. And I believe. The sustenance will really push the team to wherever we want to get to. Yeah, you've been in Kotoko, but there are still some more games to play to be played. And you need to get good results, especially at home, to stay in the league. How do you hope to achieve that? Kotoko is not my target. My target is to remain in the league. So, forward match, as I, I earlier on mentioned in the, in, the, in the beginning, our forward match will begin from today. Finally, people will ask, why can't RTU play like this? Play like this every match day. We play this way, even our way. This is how we play, except that circumstances beyond our control emerges. That's why we are where we are. All right, coach. All the best in the remaining nine games. Wish you all. Well.